after all of these right here. And that one. And then over here, there's another one, or I can't tell yet if it's still part of the same one. I'm not sure, it might be a separate one. And then over there, there's another one. And then over here is what looks to be the largest one. Right there. I would assume probably that it's the closest. Okay, so look at this now. Now what exactly does this mean? We've got a dark shadow line being cast across right out all the way over there. There's another one over here to the right. But what, what could cause a big dark shadow line like that. Let's see if I can get more in an angle underneath it. Okay, now look at it. And here comes a helicopter. Maybe he's coming to scope things out. <laughs> yeah, right. A huge shadow being cast across the sky, cutting the sun off. I'm sitting here looking at two or three different shades of the sky right now. Look at how dark the sky is all through there. Look at that line all, it goes way over there. Wow, the whole sky is a shadow now up, up above. Look at the sun peeking out from underneath that. It's like night and day all through there, the whole entire sky up there. Wow. Obviously, we're looking at at least one. Two, it looks like it has its own head. This one is its own separate one. So, two, three, four. I've been saying four, but like I said, I think there may be more, but there we go. There's four. And what's so odd about this to me is that a couple of weeks ago I saw four, like I told you guys, and they, but they were going, two of them were going in opposite directions. These are all going the same direction. Oh my gosh, that is like one of the most distinctly formed that I've ever seen right there. Whoa.
Uh, people have got to notice that, that are out somewhere. Whoa, that is crazy. Look, back here behind it, there's this big kind of square cube cloud or something that all that is coming out of. How do you guys kind of see the scale of what I've been trying to emphasize? Look at it. The scale of what I'm talking about now. And that right there is Very wild. So, there you have it, guys. And you see these things are all still moving. At least four dragons right here. Right before sunset today. And that one over there is, uh, I just don't know what to say about it. I guess, good thing I captured that one, too. I guess all my uh, persistence as far as this capture finally paid off, so to speak. Although it's not, you know, the first uh, capture <laughs> by any means, of course. But none of that is even the point to me. It's trying to get people to understand what the heck is going on. What is like right here. I mean, look at that thing right there. Maybe that is part of this one. I don't know. I mean, I don't know that matters. Like, well, I guess it does. Well, there they are. I don't know how far away these things are, but nor do I know, of course, exactly what it means. But there they are, very clearly and distinctly, vividly. And that over there, it's like a foot in the sky. That head right there, I've seen a number of times. Never knew exactly what it meant. And now I, see, I can kind of see it in a bigger picture, so to speak. That's the thing about it, I've seen a lot of these things, just pieces of them, all along the way. Trying to put those pieces together, somehow or another, is not an easy task. Working on it. Thank you to all the new people that have come along, and for all you other guys that have been with me for a long time for sticking with me. Wow. <laughs> Just don't even know what to say right now. <laughs>